devil is so subtle. He makes you believe that what you see now is the end of you. Because the devil understands that your perception is equal to your reception. So if you're only perceiving that it's over for me, it's over for you. Regardless of what you have lost, your better days are ahead. No matter what has happened to you in the past, I say your better days are ahead. No matter what they say about you right now, I say to you, your better days are ahead. Amen. Shut my better days are ahead. No matter. Somebody said no matter. No matter. I know the plan of the enemy is to make you believe that what you see now that's the end. But I want to understand this. That's what I said. When Joshua came to Jericho, the walls we are shut down. The gates were locked because they knew that even a Joshua could get in there. Come on. La the reason why many of you are feeling stressed, the enemies are afraid of you getting in. They believe that if you can get in, you will overtake them, you will pass them. So they are working to make sure you don't get it. I'm going to announce to you, no matter what they do, you will get it. You can delay me, you can delay me, you can't deny me. You can delay me, you can't deny me. I prophesy every delay in your life is over today in the name of Jesus. Your power. I just came to um, just five minutes more. I won't take time, just five minutes more. Hear me, oh child of God. As I stand here, only God said to remind somebody that what you see right now is the tip of the iceberg. Your struggles, go turn your struggles to be, to become your strength. God said to tell you, whatever, whatever, whatever is affecting right now is a power to move out from you. Amen. Do you know what? Nothing lasts for Forever. Yes. I said nothing. Last forever. Whatever you are going through in that house, oh, on that job, oh, in your marriage, oh, in Guyana, I said nothing lasts for forever. Hi, first of all, say neighbor. Yeah. Nothing lasts forever. It might take some days. It might take some months. It might take some weeks. It will take some years. All I know is that my God is able to restore me. I know you don't understand, but I have a God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. If did before, He can do it again. He bows it. He never changed. Hear me, oh child of God. I hear God say to tell you that situation is about to change. Amen. Yes. There's power in your ability to understand that that thing cannot last forever. Cannot last forever. Amen. It cannot last forever. It cannot last forever. It has to do with your perception. Amen. Your perception is equal to your reception. It means how you see things. Yes. Even though Ghana has right now, it's going through some financial crisis. You can tell yourself, I know that my God is able to supply. Amen. Yes. Oh my knees. Oh. Hear me? I don't know. You are here. You trusted somebody. You trusted people to supply you. But now they've turned their back on you. Hear me, oh child of God. They were never your source. God is your source. Amen. I'm fearful. He will supply you again. Yes. Supply you again. Amen. So don't ever worry. My God said, I'll tell you, whatever you need, it shall be happen for you right now. Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Say yes. yes. Say ooh. Ooh. The yes. power of perception. 
I don't see myself remaining like this for too long. I don't know about you. I don't see my situation for too long. I know if I keep praying and trusting God. If I keep praying, I'm trusting God. I'm believing in God. I'm behaving like God. I'm telling you, it's just a matter of time. That's why someone is about to shout a shout of victory. That is saying right now, they are mocking you. They are spitting you. They are walking up on you. But God's going to tell you, it don't last for too long. It's just for a matter of time. Reach it. Lift your hand. Say, I'm coming out of this. I'm coming out Say, of I'm this. coming out of this. I'm coming out of this. I don't know why I came here to encourage her, but you are coming out of this. Yes. I hear God say, Your latter days, your latter days, yes. your latter days yes. shall be glorious. glorious. But your former days, yes. whatever you lost, yes. is able, is more than able yes. to restore it back. Amen. The Bible says, Is a restorer or the preacher. So don't worry. Look at your power. I'm done with you. The power of perception. The power of perception. Someone say, My tomorrow, my tomorrow will be greater, will be greater than, my than my today. How do I know? Even though I have been messed up, God can turn my mess into a message. I know right now you are feeling hopeless. God can turn your hopelessness into hopefulness. I know right now you are afraid. God, God, God can turn your fear into your faith. Hear me, oh child of God. Praise your way. Your deliverance is sure. Worship God. Your favor is sure. Don't you ever cry. The Bible says we be made you for the night, but your joy come. In the morning, if you shall joy. joy. Stop someone say, your joy is coming right back. Your joy, right in that house, right on that job, right in that home, your joy is coming right back. What I don't understand is that the belief is over. But today I come to put a new spectacles in your eyes to see that this is just the beginning. Yes. Power. This is just the beginning. Make Don't tear me. Don't try me. Yes. I won't give up Jesus. what God has I given to give me. Up, this is just up. the beginning. He does your power. Just the beginning. Say neighbor. neighbor. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Say, sometimes people watch you. What they see is now. What they see is now. But I hear God say, that's a tomorrow for you. I say for you. I say for you. I say for you. I say for you. That's a tomorrow for you. I don't know who I came yet to encourage it. If that's you, give God a big shout of praise right now. Yes. The Bible says when Joshua came to Jericho, uh -huh. Jericho was a place where God promised the children of Israel yes. a land filled with milk and honey. Yes. The Bible says they had to pass through Jericho to get to the place. Hear me, oh child of God. All they wanted to do was just to pass. pass. Hear me, there are people right now who are chasing after you because yeah. they believe that you are the biggest obstacle. Uh. But we don't understand. So say, I'm just passing, I'm just passing, I'm just passing. I'm just passing. Just passing. Just say, excuse me, baby, excuse I'm just passing. Just I didn't passing. come for you, yeah. I'm just passing. Yeah. I didn't come to take your husband, I'm just passing. They were just passing by. The Bible said when they came to Jericho, Jericho was tightly shut up. Yeah. Hear me, oh child of God. Why was it shut up? Because of the children of Israel. They knew sir, that if they can step their feet in there, it means therefore their breakthrough is not far. Yeah. Hear me, oh child of God. I prophesy today. Yeah. You will step in your Jericho. Yeah. You will step in your Jericho. Yeah. You will step in your. I said, yeah. you will step in your Jericho yeah. in the name of Jesus. Yeah. 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 I'm done. Power. I'm done. I'm done. Power.
You will step in your Jericho. I will step in our Jericho. Ah, we will step the Bible says it was standing shut up. It was what? Shut up. Why was it shut up? Because they know there are people that know their God. Yeah. Bible says if yeah. you know your God, yeah. you will do great as so the Bible says that Joshua, when he got to Jericho, God said to Joshua, see, so see the power of perception. Said someone said the power of perception. He says, see, he says, see, he says, Joshua, stop crying to me. Joshua, you are almost there. So Look at someone say, you're you are almost there. You are almost there. That job is yours. That house is yours. That car is yours. Yourself. Don't the visa is yours. Are you hearing me? You are yet. almost there. Don't that house is yours. That husband is yours. Amen. You are almost there. Don't I don't said you are almost there. Amen. That visa is yours. You are almost there. Yes. 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 Almost there. Somebody say you are almost there. Yes. You are almost there. Almost in, there. My, in my look, I see it's very far. But you are almost there. What do you think? They are running after you. What do you think? They want to lie against you. What do you think? They want to hold you down. Because you are almost there. Yeah. You are almost there, baby. Yeah. I see you're almost there, sister. Yeah. Don't worry what they say. Yeah. You are almost there. Yeah. It might take some few days, yeah. some few weeks, yeah. some few more months, yeah. some few years, yeah. but you are yeah. almost yeah. there. Yeah. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yeah. So I say, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. Are you hearing me? Let me say to you the power of perception. What you see we have to bring deliverance to you. So God, so, so God said to Joshua, you are almost there, but you have to see. see. Hear me, oh child of God. Joshua could not see because there's a wall, a wall, a wall was erected to block this vision. I pray for you today. Every wall of obstruction. Yes. Every wall of obstruction, every wall of obstruction from you to see your future husband, your wife, your children, your visa. Today I command that wall to fall down now in the name of Jesus. Amen. The power of perception. God delivered me from this many years ago. The power of perception. When I first came to Guyana, I didn't see nothing good about Guyana. I, I, can, I, can I be honest with you? Be honest. Can I be honest with you? Yes. I didn't see nothing good about Guyana. I said, oh my God, Guyana is a broken country. Guyana is no good. Everything I see was brown, 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 brown. I said, God, what are you saying to me? God said to me, Say, Son, understand. He took me to Isaiah 1, verse 11. He says, If you are obedient and willing, you will eat the good of the land. I said, But God, I don't see nothing good in Bagan. All I see is vexation. All I see is nonsense. All I see is dryness. God said, No, Son, in every land, there's goodness and there's. Uh, so God said, it's time for you to focus. Oh, yeah. He said, see the good of Guyana. Because what you see is what you get. Say, neighbor, what you see is what you get. What you see, what Hear me? You I know right now, many of you are so bored about being in Guyana. You want to travel overseas. That's okay. But in the meantime, enjoy it while it lasts. I can't stop you from trouble. But the Bible says, when Joshua came to, to Jericho, he saw the land. He saw the land. But the Bible says he couldn't see because the wall was blocked. So God said, Joshua, see. What is the meaning of that? He was saying, Joshua, stop looking and start seeing. Stop looking and start seeing. Say neighbor, neighbor. Stop, looking stop looking and start seeing. You, you will see your breakthrough. You will see your success. Amen. You will see your victory. Amen. You will see your joy. Amen. You will see your healing. Amen. You will see your deliverance. Amen. Then that you shall yeah, 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 yeah,
what you see is what you get. Amen. The power of perception, the power of perception. What are you seeing right now? I know right now you don't feel things. Things are so dry. That's what the enemy wants to show you. They show you the opposite of what God wants to see. But today, today, I open your your eyes to see the goodness of God. Even the land of the dry, you will see God bless you in abundance. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Now we go pray right now. Hey guy, two. I forget. Hey guy, chapter two, verse now. Hey guy, hey guy, hey guy. Lepa handa husha. Yes. Jepa leke de husha. Jepa kato raiba husha. I tell you, let it do. Today, you are going forward. Amen. You are going forward. Amen. As you come to the end of September, yes. you are going forward. Amen. The devil cannot hold you back. Amen. Today you will see, you will see the goodness of God. You will see the mercy of God. You will see the joy of the Lord. Yes. You will see the power of God. Amen. You will see God deliverance upon you. He yes. that you shut I'm the one. I'm the one. Yes. Hey God, chapter 2, verse, verse 9. It says, the glory of this present house. Hold it now, oh child of God. The glory. Someone holler the glory. The glory. glory. The glory speaks the weighty of God. Amen. The power of God. The dunamis grace of God. Say the glory. Someone say the glory. The glory. The glory. Yes. We be greater than the glory. Are you hearing me somewhere right now? I know the year is coming to an end. Can I prophesy to someone right here? There's a greater coming your way. I said there's a greater coming your way. There's a greater coming your way. Greater in your marriage. Greater in your job. Greater in your business. Greater in your head. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Say greater. receive it so finally God says in Haggai chapter 2 verse 9 the glory of the latter house of the latter house will be something that's coming Amen. something's coming Amen. see I can see right now yes. many of you right now you are in for a, a major breakthrough Amen. I, I know it. some which don't like it some wizards don't like it. Don't like Some it. Obia don't like it. Don't like it. But you are going to get better. Amen. Because God said the glory of the latter house. Yes. They mess with your future. They mess with your present glory. What they what don't understand is that what they see right now in you is not compared to it's not compared to what God is about to unveil in your life. He that should shout, I'm the one. I'm the one. Le kura da bahana wosha. Le pa le godos kijaba. Le pru kusita handa wosha. Je kete tete bahana woske. Le paka le gade woske. Je pa le gade woske naba. Je pe kete bahana woske. Le pa. I hear the Holy Ghost say to me, yes. I will reduce your enemies. Amen. I will reduce your enemies. Reduce my enemies. I will reduce your enemies. Reduce say, enemies. Oh, Lord, oh Lord, today, today reduce, reduce all my enemies. All my enemies. Shut down. Now. Le coup, la gada. Je pas gada 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 gada. Le prix gada gada bosha. Le pa le gados, jagade zados, zakada le gados, makura gade zara, aye gade bahos ke. Lift your hands. I'm done. I'm done with you. I'm done with you. See, I can tell you this. It's not just, I'm not just preaching. I'm giving you my life experience. Yes. I saw cry. Big man cry. No, some people are joking. Yes. Big man is crying. Yes. Tell us. I 
God whip me one day. Cry for what? He said, if you, if, he said, if you can have, if you can take a peep yes. of your future glory, Jesus. you will know that what you are passing through right now yes. is just a light thing. Amen. I believe it. Yes. The Bible says, there's no temptation. None. First Corinthians 10 verse 13. No temptation that's ever seized a man that God has not made a way of escape. I can tell you, no matter the oppression, no matter the depression, no matter the confusion or the commotion, you are coming out. Amen. You are coming out. coming out. There's a way of escape. God will take you out. Amen. I said, God will take you out. Amen. I said, God will take you out. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Shall hold on. Oh Lord. Take me out. Shut now. now. Leko le paka da bahoskesha. The glory of the latter house yes. shall be greater than the former house. Yes. It's not me saying the Bible. Amen. It was simply telling you that the end of a thing. Yes. Oh, I don't, I, Richard. The end of a thing. Is better than the beginning. Amen. Receive it. I'm here to announce to someone today. Your beginning might not be so good, but your end will be greater. Amen. Your end will be greater. Amen. I say your end will be greater. Amen. Your end will be greater. Amen. Lift your hands up. Greater. Greater. We go pray. To face what obscures your vision, what obscures your vision because your vision is very important to your destination. If you don't see where you're going, and the devil makes us believe that this is all about us, he enlightened me before. I said, devil, you are a liar. No matter, listen, no matter your weaknesses, no matter your mistakes, God has the power Amen. to restore you back again. Restore me, Lord. David was addressed in the Bible as the man after God's own heart. And if you understand the life of David, he was a murderer, a daughterer. All kinds of things David did. But David knew, David knew how to go back to God. Say, go back to God. Go back to God. Say, go back to God. Don't allow your past to hold you back. Go back to God. Go back to God. He shall fix you again. Restore your home. Restore your marriage. Restore your life. He does your shut. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. People like to deceive you and tell you it's over for you. The devil is alive. It's not over yet. It's not I over. I can't encourage you to let you. It's not over yet. It's not over. But the glory that's coming. The glory, yes. It's more, it's more weighty Amen. It's more than, weighty. The past. than the past. Amen. It means therefore, what it means therefore, your past don't control your future. Amen. I receive that. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Your past, your past cannot, cannot control your future. Cannot control, control your future. future. Your past can control your future. I know people know your past. They know your mistakes. Yes. But they cannot control your future. Amen. Your future is in the hand of God. Yes. God is your alpha, yes. he's your own, yes. he's your omega. The Bible says he's the first and the last, the beginning and the end. He's the I am that I am. Yes. The Bible says without him nothing was made. Nothing. Power. 
What is obscuring your vision? Perception. Perception. What, what are you seeing? Because you can sit down and that situation can overwhelm you. Yes. Bible says in Matthew 6 verse 25 I love this scripture. I'm going to close with this. Matthew 6 verse 25 Jesus said to his disciples do not worry for what you shall eat, drink, or wear. Amen. For your heavenly Father knows yes. you have need for yes. these things. Yes. Appreciate. The area of our concern has been addressed by God. Amen. He says, "For your heavenly Father knows." He knows. Your heavenly Father knows. He, knows. he says, "Do not worry what you shall eat." Number one, eat. Number two, drink. Number three, wear. Say neighbor. Neighbor. God knows your concern. God knows your concern. Our life is revolved around eating, drinking, and wearing. That is true. That's what we are all busy fighting for. Yes. Hello. Hi. What are we eat today, tomorrow, and yes, your... that is true. Huh? Yes. So you're fighting. You're fighting. Yes. What to drink and what to wear. Put on the best because you deserve the best. Amen. Receive it.